Heavenly Father, we come to you again, thanking you again for another blessed day, Lord. We're thanking you for all that you have done today, Lord. I'm praying for those that have lost someone today, Lord, that have lost anyone, Lord, and that are hurting and in need of prayer and in need of comfort, Lord. I'm praying for them and I'm sending out petitions on their behalf, Lord, to comfort and console their families, to show them that you are there in their time of need, Lord, that you are always there in their time of need, Lord, and to let them know that you love them and you have loved the one that is deceased, Lord, but it is your will that they come rest, Lord. We thank you for the lives that they have lived, Lord. We thank you for the blessings of the memories that you've given us to have about them, Lord. We thank you for the things that they have done to keep us in place, Lord, to keep our memories live and fresh, Lord. And in the years to come, may we remember them and smile and laugh and cry, Lord, but be grateful for the time that you gave us, Lord, because it is your will that they leave at a certain time, Lord, as we all must leave at a certain time, Lord, it is always your will, Lord. So we thank you for the birth, Lord. We thank you for the life, Lord. And Lord, we thank you for the death, Lord, because in order for us to be with you, this body must go, Lord. So we thank you for those lives that have walked through and had, are now at rest, Lord, and are waiting to be called to see your face, Lord, in glory, Lord. Lord, we thank you for that, Lord. We thank you for all of the blessings that a loved one gives us, Lord, and their blessings from you, Lord. So, Lord, watch over the families that are still left behind, Lord, that are mourning, that are crying, that are hurting, Lord, that will be missing this person, Lord, that may have missed out on telling them how much they loved them and needed them and cared about them, Lord. And, Lord, when they see any of these things, Lord, Make them think about who's still here, Lord, and share that love and tell them how much you miss them, Lord, how much you love them while they're here, Lord, because we all have a set time and it is due through you, Lord. So we thank you, Lord, for that. Lord, we also thank you for giving us the opportunity to have salvation, Lord, and to meet you in glory, Lord, and to be with you, Lord, because we must leave this flesh of spirit, Lord. So we thank you for that gift of grace and mercy, Lord, that you shed upon us daily, Lord. There are many that wanted to wake up today and did not, Lord. So we thank you for those that were fortunate enough to wake up, Lord, but we thank you for those who still Get the same inheritance that I will receive, Lord, if it is your will, Lord. And that is to be in glory with you, Lord. So, Lord, thank you again. You are so good to us. You are so gracious to us, Lord. You are so merciful to us, Lord. So, today we just praise you for being God on high and looking on low, Lord. We praise you for giving us a time frame to be down here on this world in a physical realm, Lord. In a realm where we can touch somebody and see our family, Lord. But what we really thank you for, Lord, is the sacrifice that you've given us, Lord, so that our faith can get us to be with you and we can see you, Lord, and be in heaven with you, Lord, and praise you and worship you with all the angels and the saints and the apostles, Lord, because that is the true plan, Lord, to be in glory with you, Lord. This is a temporal time frame that we walk through, Lord, but eternity, we want to be with you, Lord. So once again, Lord, thank you for all that you have done for everybody on this planet, Lord. For all the living, Lord, for all the dead, for we all will see you and be judged, Lord. And we thank you for giving us that opportunity and that peace, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray today. Amen.